quick hit here, this time with a quick hit on the Hollow Sun Optics. So these are all variations of Hollow Sun Optics. The first one we have here is the Hollow Sun HS512C. Um, obviously, I'm a big fan of Hollow Sun Optics. This one is one of my favorites. This one is a closed emitter, which means everything is contained right inside there under glass. You don't have to worry about any debris or anything getting in it. And again, phenomenal optic. The only disadvantage of this, I would say, is the lack of QD mount on it. Um, many of their other optics do provide QDs and some don't, as we will soon see. So the next one we'll go to is their tube style optics. So on both of these hosts, you can see we have the tube style optics. Now these do come typically with a low mount and a high mount. They come in a green dot version as delineated here with the green dot in the center and also a red dot version, as you can see with the red dot in the center. These both have the, one has the battery on the side. That's what they call the GL model. The other one has the battery in a tray, which is what they call the G model. The R stands for, uh, or the GR model. So again, slight differences. Um, this one's nice because I can just literally take the uh, battery tray off, put a new battery in there, no tool needed. The other one does require a specific little uh, wrench or key and a hex key and it's a little bit more difficult to change the battery, especially quickly. All right, the next one we're gonna step up to is gonna be the HS-512C. So the Holosun HS-512C has a few different reticle options. So it has a dot, a circle, and a circle with a dot in the center. Now these other two just have red dots. This one also has three dot options. Now the 512 and the 510 are actually very similar the biggest difference is the 510 does not have a closed emitter. This does also come in a green version delineated by dash GR here. Uh, this one is the red version, so it doesn't have that. But again, this one is not a closed emitter, but it's basically the same optic as this one, only without the closed emitter. And with one other feature, it does have a quick detach mount. Now, again, this one does have the battery tray that does need a tool to be removed, but this one does have a QD mount. So if you want to run irons as backups and this optic no longer works and is just in the way, you can flip it off quickly, uh, get it gone and uh, go ahead and keep it moving. So the next optic we'll talk about is their usually pistol optics. Now I'm running this one on a 14 and a half inch uh, Colt upper pinned and welded. Uh, to bring it to an overall length over 16 inches. Um, nice little pin weld job right there. Uh, this one has an ASR mount. As if you watch the channel, you've seen that I run a lot of my items with the ASR mount on them because I use that Omega 30 for most of my suppressed items. Now, again, these micro red dots, they also do allow the three reticle options. This one has the battery tray on the side. The older models have the battery tray on the bottom, which means you have to actually remove the optic in order to change the battery. Again, though, the battery life on these is 50,000 hours, so you're not gonna be doing that often. Um, but this one does have it on the side, so it is a little advantage there. This is the red dot. And uh, this one just gave me a nice little co-witness with the uh, Nice Armament Company rear sight. So I decided to go ahead and run it on here. Uh, this is a little bit lighter, believe it or not, even though it has a heavy profile barrel. All right, the next one we're gonna move to, and the last one is going to be the Hollow Sun HS. 515 GM. Again, that GM designation shows you that it has a battery tray. Uh, that way you can change that easily. Now, this one right here um, is on a low profile mount. However, this one does come with a quick detach mount as well. Um, I'm not running the quick detach mount because it does give it a little bit more height. And on this um, and all my other guns, I really like to get a overall uh, co-witness. So I like to be able to use my iron sights um, in conjunction with the dot. So almost all of these are set up to run that way, including the uh, MP5K clone, uh, the MKE, um, as well as every other one of these on the table. So again, that's just a quick rundown of the Hollow Sun Optics. Uh, they come in many variations. The battery life on all of them is again, amazing. And uh, hey, if you uh, get a chance, go ahead and give them a try. Hey guys, if you like the content, 
please do me a favor and subscribe. I am working to grow the channel and I will keep producing content if people keep watching it. So thanks very much and uh, quick hit out.